So no, I, we definitely don't wait till it's completed because I think as you write the story, more experiments, control experiments, additional experiments to highlight come, come to, to, to light. So I, maybe the, the research has it's got to a point where you create, I can now see where the story is. Right? We've come up with the battle plan, even though it's not complete yet. Let's start, putting our, let's start writing the paper. Let's start getting a draft. And from that draft, then I'll dictate, OK, if, we're going, if we want to take it down this road, we need these controls, or we need these additional experiments. And so that's maybe about 70 80% complete. And then we start the paper, and then tidy it up. Uh, I would say that they should think of writing the paper somewhere in the middle of their research process. So writing a paper is a very high priority activity because that's what people see. They don't really see your raw data, they see the paper, your presentation. So junior researchers have to take this very, very seriously. And ideally, they should already know roughly the outline of the paper even probably before they start the research. Uh, for anybody uh, who starts something like any sports or something, there is a learning curve. Uh, you have to practice quite a bit. Uh, one of the suggestions I always tell even my own uh, young students, postdocs, is make a habit to write at least one page a day. It's something what you did during the day or uh, something you read a paper about. Summarize in a one-page statement. Uh, and so what happens is when you're ready to write a paper, you have all the information ready at your hand and you have to put together. So it makes it life easier. And one of the analogy I always give is you don't run marathon just because you say, I'm going to run marathon tomorrow. You practice for five, six months. Same way here, if you have any regular practice, you can uh, do a much better job in writing a paper and effectively.